everyone, it is Christy AK Veggie Beauty here, and I haven't done a thrift store haul for you guys in a very, very, very long time, um, and I just figured I'd pick up a couple things to kind of transition me into spring. I, I didn't get like a ton of stuff, I just got, you know, some basics, and I did find a really nice um, pan for rice and things like that. Funny story, my husband actually wrecked one of my favorite rice pots. Um, if you're cooking rice, you know you need a pot that you can, you have a lid to close it because it keeps the rice moist and um, cooks it better. I don't know if it was because he wanted to get out of cooking in the future or what, but he actually um, melted a spoon into the pan. Like seriously, he just left it on the stove, um, nothing else in it, just the spoon, and it melted into the pan. I mean, of course we had to get rid of it because... I mean, there's no way you're going to completely clean that up, and who knows if the plastic is going to get into your food and stuff. So, um, yeah, I was happy to find a pan. Um, if you go to Goodwill, you know that's like the first thing that gets snapped up is any kind of cookware or pans or anything like that because nobody wants to pay full price for that stuff. I mean, it's just like a Teflon pan, but it's like the perfect size for rice, and it has a really nice lid, and it just closes really nice. So. I know, I'm a weirdo, I get excited about a pan, but you guys know I love to cook, so um, anything that can help me with that, I'm on board for. Um, and this is only $2.50, so it was a really good deal, and I like recycling anyway. Um, I got this shirt from Goodwill. It's great for the layering look when you don't want to actually have all the layers, because sometimes it gets a little warm. So I know it's cheating, but I like it. So yeah, it has like a little part coming down here, so... I think it's cute. Um, it would be like a shirt I could wear to like my husband's parents' house or grandparents. Um, it's pretty conservative and I like the color. Blue is like one of my favorite colors so I really like it. And um, I really like this ruching detail. I don't know if it's like a braiding or what, but I just think it's really cute. The bottom kind of cinches nice. I just think it's going to be really cute, especially if you pair like a tank top underneath. Or if you want to be more risque, you can just leave it without the tank top and have a little cleavage showing. And this is one of the few cute short sleeve shirts I find at Goodwill. I find they usually don't have very many cute short sleeve shirts. I don't know if it's because people mostly wear t-shirts for that kind of thing and they get worn out, but I don't find a lot of cute like short sleeve shirts at Goodwill necessarily. It's from a brand called Daisy Fuentes. I don't know where that's from, but um, I thought this would be cute. It is like a tunic kind of top. And normally I don't recommend wearing these if you're an hourglass, but what I'm going to do is what, if I do wear it, I'm going to cinch it in the waist with a belt, and I'm going to wear leggings underneath it. I'm going to wear my knee-high man-made um, riding boots that are brown with my gray leggings, this, and a belt to cinch around the waist. I'm still looking for the perfect belt. Keep an eye out for that, but I think that'll be a really cute outfit for me. I'm not like super girly in my outfits. Like I'd rather be kind of girly in my makeup and have my clothing be more neutral. Um, that's just my style though and I like things that are comfortable and a little sporty. So um, my recommendation for fashion is just do what's comfortable for you. Like wear what you feel good in. Um, make sure to try everything on when you're in the thrift store. Don't just leave it to chance because you might hate it when you get home. So you might as well just try everything on and you'll spend less money that way too and just get stuff that you actually will wear. And make sure that it is stuff that, you know, if, even if it looks cute, if you're not going to wear it, don't bother buying it. You know, seriously. Okay. Okay, I don't care. I know this is a maternity, sh maternity shirt. I don't care about that stuff, guys. If it fits me and fits the girls, I'm good. I'm not insecure about it. Um, but it is actually a more form-fitting shirt. Like, that's kind of weird sounding, but it, it, it's still a form-fitting shirt. It's a large, but it's it's still form-fitting on me. So, um, I really like how it fits my, my chest area. Like, it doesn't... Okay, I usually don't recommend, like, horizontal stripes if you're a bigger girl, but the way that this cinches in and kind of puts emphasis onto the hourglass shape, like, see how it goes in there with that detailing? Um, I think that actually works really well. And the fact that it's form-fitting. If this was, like, a looser-fitting shirt, I wouldn't recommend wearing the horizontal stripes, but I think... You can pull off more horizontal stripes depending on the fit of the shirt. Um, when I think of spring, I think of like lace and crochet and like really girly details, um, but not too girly. I'm not super into girly, like bright pink everything, but 
I thought the color of this, since it's like a beige kind of color, and it has like the crop sleeves, and I just love the detailing of the crochet on the neck. I just think that'll be so elegant, especially if I pair it with bold makeup or bold accessories. Um, I think, you know, just wearing a really beige shirt sometimes can be boring, but if you pair it with the right accessories, the right makeup, um, I think this is going to be really, really cute. I, I just, I like, I like crochet details. It just reminds me of um, handmade crafts and kind of being a hippie or something. I don't know. I really like it. But a pair of exercise pants. Nothing special, just some gray with pink stripes. They looked in really good condition. That's the thing with pants, make sure they're not worn out because a lot of times people wear their pants till they're just like thread bare. Um, so just only get pants from Goodwill if they're in good condition. These these feel like they're in really good condition. They feel almost new. So um, I really like them and I'm going to wear them to exercise and just, you know, around the house or whatever. Um, I love the color. It really brings out my eyes, especially with this eye makeup. Um, I really like how it looks over things. I think it would be a good layering piece. Um, it's not too baggy, it's still fitted, so it's still going to emphasize my hourglass shape um, while still covering me up and giving me some warmth. I just really like, I like that it kind of looks a little bit like an army jacket. Like, I really like um, mixing feminine with more masculine pieces, if that makes sense. That's just, that's my style though. Um, but I think it's still, it has like a masculine shape, but it's still feminine because of the color. And I really like, um, I really like all the pockets in it. It's just like the perfect spring jacket. Um, it's like the perfect thickness. It's not too thin, not too thick. And I really like the inside detailing. Kind of floral inserts. I just think that's really cute. And it, the brand is Wild Rose. So I don't know if anyone's heard of that or not. But I just thought it was super cute. It was like $4 and definitely use it for layering over tank tops and t-shirts for spring. So yeah, my eyeshadow look. I am going to do a review on some sugar pill eyeshadows that my friend, um, her name's Kanazia on here. Her name's Steph Steffi in real life. And she sent, she was so nice. She sent me um, some samples of sugar pill loose eyeshadows, like the eyeshadow pigment. They list on their site if products are vegan or not, and all of their loose eyeshadows are vegan, I believe. Um, and quite a few of their pressed ones are. You just need to look on the site. There should be like a V symbol if they're vegan or not. So um, I really, really like them. Um, I've been using them for a while, just testing them out so I can do a really thorough review for you guys. Um, she sent me um, quite a few pigments, so I will, I will do swatches and review that for you coming up soon. So keep an eye out for that. All right. And happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I probably will wear this jacket today just to celebrate um, St. Patty's Day. And I like my makeup. I think it's cute, too. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.